third parent I spoke to, and I'm telling you, people of Kiambu, yes, we will make that difference. And uh, we are going to be fairly tough. I can assure you, you will not have these incidents again. We are going to deploy effectively here, and we are going to comb this place. And uh, the criminals who operate around here and the gangs who are operating around here, uh, if any one of you knows them, let them understand this. We are going to be very, very hard on them. Because people must be, uh, our Nainji must be left to do their businesses and they must be left to go about their businesses peacefully. We will do our work. I, I, I have come here to promise you, we will do our work. That's what we are paid to do. We will do our work. We are responsible public servants. We will do our work. And I've told all my colleagues in the security teams in this place, it is our job to be awake at night so that we are night sleep. It is our job to remain awake at night and move around these villages and so on so that we are night sleep. And whatever it is going to take, IG and myself and all our colleagues are going to pay special attention to what is happening around here. And even if it means we ourselves working with other special teams around here, we will. We are going to remain awake so that our people can sleep. That's what we are paid to do. And we will do so. Now, Safari, CEO, I am following the footsteps of John Nichuki. He is a at West Kukubali. Watu kuteswa na mnaiki kusumbuliwa hivi na hivi na tunaelewa ni mambo gani naendelea hapa. Lastly, Mwishimua, you have said it yourself. I want to ask uh, our leaders, because there are certain dimensions of this, there are certain dimensions of this that are related to a little bit of politics. Uh, the law does not know uh, position, status, and so on. And we will apply the law. It's as simple as that. We will apply the law. It doesn't matter the status of those who are doing this. We have talked about this thing again. And I want to say I am not going to apologize again to another group of people in, in Kiambu. And I'm not going to face another situation like the one I faced. Uh, you know, how do you feel when a parent confronts you like the one who confronted me in that marketplace? Uh, you, 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 you feel like a failure. You know, when these things are happening, our children are being terrorized around by criminals. Others are being brought around to make a political point. You make your political point wherever you want to make it. We have a constitution that allows you to do that. And you are free to go and make it wherever you want to do it. But leave the lives of our people alone. And let our people live peacefully, enjoy their lives, do their business, and so on. You hold all the views you want to hold. The constitution allows you to do that. But leave our people alone. Let people enjoy their lives. Leave our children alone. To try and terrorize people and cause pain so that you can make some point. I don't know what point you want to make. That we will not accept. And, and, and as I said, we will do our work. And you know we actually usually do our work. We do our assignments. I just here, we are promising you, we will do our work. This thing will not happen again. And Kiambu, you will be peaceful. We will supervise this thing ourselves and we are going to move forward on this matter. Ikitu, Itaisha. God bless you. Thank you, Brother. When things like this happen and government tries to take some action, as politicians, we bring a lot of shenanigans politically. I want to assure you, CS, we are behind you fully. And whatever action you take, even against as politicians, we are going to be fully behind you. Not just here in Gatudo, in Kiambu, or in matters of security. As we fix this country, we must protect our public servants, our public officers, from the shenanigans of politics. Si ati wazira jaribu kusema hii sasa kesho amefanya hii kwa nini hapana tuweke ndani hata kama ni mimi nimezoea eh yeah? bora tukuwe na security because we cannot keep on doing things the same way and expecting different results and even as we do the other things that you are doing with the president to be able to bring peace in the country at an environment which we need to achieve development takuwa nyuma yako mimi hata tukimaliza hapa Hata ukitaka huko kisi na Mombasa tutaenda huko kupiga siasa to protect you guys in government because we cannot be in the offices that you occupy all we can do is to create an environment which is good for you. and I really feel bad when we politicize matters which are called public officers because I hana ile sauti niko nayo ya kwenda kupiga makelele huko so kazi yetu DG na wengine wana siasa to protect hao watu waweze kukaa kwa maofisi na kufanya kazi yao